Hi, I'm Pete Ellerhurst, Director of Field Support here at Crown Plastics Company, and welcome to this edition of Make It Stick. The video series, we're utilizing our unique capability here at Crown Plastics Company. We can take our DuraSurf line of UHW products and virtually make it stick to almost any substrate. One of the important things we're going to talk about today is proper surface preparation. This is really one of the keys and one of the backbones to making our product work in almost any application. But there are a lot of things that need to be taken into consideration depending on the substrate, texture, and the environment that the product is going to be exposed in. And we're going to discuss some of those with you today. But one of the key components to making anything here is going to be proper surface preparation and making sure we understand what's involved in preparing the surface properly. Here you can see we have a piece of metal that has not been cleaned. It's pretty corroded. And as you can see, if we were to just take a piece of UHMW and try to stick it down without cleaning it, uh, it does not stick very well. Basically, all you're doing is you're sticking to the dirt and the contamination that, rely, that resides on the, on the surface of the, the substrate. So what we want to do is first, we want to use something that's pretty aggressive and something that's really going to knock out what's on the surface. So one of the things that we would recommend is either going with like an MEK with this methyl ethyl ketone or an acetone, something pretty aggressive. Now, if you're dealing with shoots, like we do a lot of work right now in distribution centers or package handling service companies, a lot of times you'll find that these people are spraying a lot of different materials on these shoots in order to get package flow. Number one, this is gonna create a lot of contamination on that surface. But number two, you have to understand what they're spraying on there. If what they're spraying on is a silicon-based product, the MEK will break that silicone down a little bit better than acetone. So making sure that you understand what they're spraying on there is gonna be very important. So what we'll do is we'll go with the MEK, we'll wipe this down very well, and you can see that we're gonna be getting a lot of contamination off of the surface here, okay? And really what you wanna do is you wanna wipe it down until the rag comes up clean as a rule of thumb, okay? So as you can see, we still have pretty good contamination there. A lot of dirt still on the substrate. We'll do a secondary wipe down here. Okay, we're getting a little bit better. And then once we are finished with the acetone or the MEK, we wanna do a wipe down with isopropyl alcohol. Sometimes there may be a little bit of a residue left after we do the MEK or the acetone wipe. So again, what we'll do is we'll use an isopropyl alcohol. Just make sure we re remove any residual film that may reside on the surface there. And now we'll be prepared to do the installation, but we wanna make sure that that alcohol completely evaporates. Now that we have the surface properly cleaned, we can go ahead and do our installation. Where again, we get the material in place, and again, using mechanical pressure. Now that we've got that clean substrate, we absolutely guarantee that we're gonna make proper adhesion to that substrate and to that steel. All right, so what are the takeaways that we're gonna come away with from the video today? Obviously, once we identify that substrate, we have to take a look at what it's going to take in order to properly prepare that surface for bonding. If it's dirty, it might just be a matter of selecting the correct solvents, whether it's an MEK or an acetone. If it's an aluminum, we may have to take into consideration that there may be some oxide built up. We may have to get some product like Aluma Prep, which helps remove that oxide. And again, we'll enhance the bondability of our product to the aluminum. If it's something that is going to be seeing some extremes, it may require us to do some treated for bonding where we actually have to abrade the surface. So there's a lot of things to take into consideration, but also just making sure that once that's done, doing the final wipe down with the isopropyl alcohol and making sure that that product is prepped properly, that will ensure our best chances of success. We really appreciate you checking out the video today. If there was a, a substrate you would like to see us bond to, let us know at crownplastics.com and let's show how we can make it stick for you.